Hi, my name is Josh, also known as DJ Torpedo, and today I'll be showing you how to use Vibo, the music planning app. Let's go! Today I'll be showing it to you on an iPhone, but it also works for Android. First up, you will get a link directly from me to install the app. All you do is click the link, install, and you're ready to go. The first time you open the app, it's going to ask you to create an account. I recommend signing up with Facebook so that you can use your profile picture as your avatar. Once you log in, you'll get to the home screen, which will show you the name of the event, the venue, the date, the time, and how many guests have joined. By guests, this can mean a select few friends that you trust to add music. They'll be able to add song requests for general sections like cocktail hour or dinner, or open dancing segments. You don't have to use this feature, but there are benefits. For example, you could have your selected guests choose which songs they like the best. To invite guests, just click the invite guests button and it will open up a way for you to send them a message. I recommend clicking the text message icon and it will generate an auto message to send. You can customize it the way you want before you send it. The app has two tabs, details and music. The details can only be edited by the host, which is typically you, the client, and me, the entertainer. Click the edit event icon in the middle right of your screen and it will open up another window where you can change the details of the event. You can switch up the default image with a photo from the camera roll. Once you select the image, click continue and it will return you to the editing screen. And be sure that with any changes, you click the save button in the upper right hand corner. You can add other hosts, but generally it's just the client and the entertainer. If you decide to add a host, use discretion because they'll have access to everything. It's time to get started on the music. Click the music tab and it'll open up a different window for you. We set up the app in a way that allows you to add songs as you think of them. Let's click on the open dancing music section. There are three ways to add a song, manually, through your Spotify playlist, or lastly, picking a song from the song list. Let's get started with manual way. First, this is the way you'll add in a title or the artist of the song. So for instance, let's say we do the Beatles. Now you don't even have to spell it correctly. It'll pull up the most relevant song within the YouTube search engine. So that's the manual way. Let's talk about importing a Spotify playlist. If you've already created a playlist on Spotify of songs that you want to use for a specific section, in this case, we're in the open dancing segment. So let's click on the import Spotify playlist and it'll open up a window for you to log into your Spotify account. Log in with your credentials and then pick the Spotify playlist that you want. And then it will begin the process of importing. As you know, YouTube sometimes the songs can be titled pretty randomly. Also, due to the fact that certain songs are only available on Spotify, we do recommend that you open up your Spotify app at some point to ensure that all the songs from your playlist did in fact import. The third way is to utilize the suggestion playlist. Let's say music isn't your thing and you need some help. Go through the different genres or categories and you can find songs to add to your event. In the upper right hand section of each song, as a host, you will see three dots. Guests are not able to view this. When you click on those three dots, it gives you some additional options. You can add some song notes in there, such as dedicating this to a specific person, or you can classify it differently, such as a must play or do not play. You can move the song to a completely different section, such as dinner or cocktail hour. You can preview the song or remove the song completely. As you see in the lower left hand corner, there's a red icon. By clicking that, you can change the order in which the songs are displayed. Typically, I have already set up the different sections for your specific event. With this example, we'll be dealing with a wedding, which has many different sections. A green color indicates that it's a single song or a single event section, and a blue color means that you can add multiple songs to that particular section. You can also decide which playlists to make public and which ones to make private. Certain ones are only for the host. The public playlists are the only ones that your guests are going to be able to contribute to. Let's say there's a section that you want to change from host only to public view, or vice versa. Let's look at the cocktail hour. That currently says public, so we're going to change that to host only. By clicking the edit button on the upper left hand side of the screen, it will open up a toolbar column allowing us to edit any event section we want. So if we click on that icon next to cocktail hour, we can change not only the name of the section, but hit the button that allows us to go from public to private. Once we do that and click save, then click done, as you look back in the section, it will now say host only, meaning only the host can see the songs in that section. Let me show you three more features while we're on the screen. 
The first of which is the reorder button. You can see in the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you hit that button, a column will appear with three lines on the right hand side of your screen. Simply grab the section by those three lines. So let's say for instance, we want to move the cake cut before dancing starts. I'm going to grab it and move it there and then click done button again. The last two features on this screen you'll see are those two icons in the upper right hand corner of each section. One a paper icon and one is a clock icon. The paper icon allows you to leave a note about a specific section. So for instance, let's pretend you wanted to let the DJ know to only play the first minute and 30 seconds of that song. Leave a note and click save and I will see it because it'll be all white. The clock is rather self-explanatory. Just click on that and it allows you to add a time to a specific section. Please note that by adding a specific time, it will still not change where that item takes place. And you'll have to use the reorder function to be able to move the sections up or down. One last thing, if you need to add a section, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click add new section. The last feature is on our details tab. So click that icon in the upper left hand corner and you'll see a button on your left hand side in the middle of the screen that says planning form. I don't really use the planning form so don't worry about that but basically you will be able to enter some information on the planning form and that's really all you need to know about it. The app is always looking to improve so if you have any questions or concerns please let me know and I will address your struggles. Thank you for watching. I hope this made it easier to understand the app. Looking forward to working with you. Peace.